Hi there, I'm Mimi Lesios, and you're listening to my podcast, Staying Alive with Mimi. You're watching me on YouTube, Action Diva TV. And my subject today is staying alive. What makes you feel happy? What makes you feel vibrant? What makes you feel that you want to stay alive, especially in today's crazy world, right? Well, to me, it's all about being there for somebody else. That's what gives me my energy. That's what gives me something to really live for. That's how I operate. I get energy by giving. Um, I feel that I am really working for God and really working for the higher source and higher energy, God, you know, your God, my God, our God, uh, you know, just to, to be kind and to have love. And that's what gives me my, you know, my, my wanting to stay alive. And I want to help and I want that um, energy that I can give because I can, you know, and I, am blessed to be Mimi Lesios who has struggled and who has made it and who has done all these movies and God bless you know my life for the better and I was able to help people um, you know get jobs as an actor or get jobs as a stunt person and I feel that it is something that God gave me is to give back and that's what makes me feel so crazy energy. I'm, I'm the kind of person that, um, you know, sees somebody in the street when I'm driving, I'll pull over and I'll totally help them. I'll give them the jacket off of my, you know, uh, off of my back. I've done that. I've done that many times. As a matter of fact, um, I raised my kids, um, by, example and not just by you know saying this is what you should do and this is how you should do it you know i i, I have stopped it homeless you know in the street and said here's my jacket with my two kids in my arms and literally gave my jacket on a very cold day uh, to somebody and gave them some money, but that's not just one for instance It sort of just gives me the energy to continue living because I feel that us as human beings are not just here for ourselves we're here to be here for each other and to help one another and that's what we should all do uh, to just to thrive off of the energy and to feel the love. It, literally, you can't live without having some sort of love in your life. You know, if you're not the kind of person who likes to be around people, especially during these times, um, you know, you need a dog, you need a cat, you need something that is absolutely going to fill your heart with that gratefulness and that, that uh, it, you know, we are human beings who need to interact and connect with people. And if even during this pandemic and, you know, with our masks, which I am a mask wearing person, I, I try and keep humanity safe. I try and keep myself safe and my family and I, I still need to get out. And when you need to get out, it's a thing where your heart needs freedom and fresh air. So I recommend you getting out there and finding the beach that you like to walk down and see the sunset or see the sunrise. Who's an early riser? I am. I totally get up early. 
I go to bed early. I go to bed when I feel like I'm tired and I get up super early to see the sunrise. And I so appreciate the sunsets. They're just amazing. Such colors and such beauty that God gave us. This whole world is so beautiful. And if we don't start appreciating it and appreciating the small things in life, then you know, it's it's not all about the big things that make us, you know, frustrated and make us a, a, a crazy mess, you know, with our finances and, you know, we don't have a job and we don't have this and we don't have that. But what do we have? We have those little things, those little things that make us happy and want to keep us alive. You know, what, what makes you happy? I'm telling you what makes me happy is to give back, but also what makes me happy is food. Oh my God, I am a total foodie. My daughter and I are crazy foodies. We love to cook and we watch all the different cooking shows and hello, shout out to Rachel Ray. We love Rachel Ray. <laughs> She's pretty fabulous. And I just have to say that Rachel, oh my goodness gracious, you doing your home show and, and showing us, you know, where you are and with your husband and him making the cocktails and filming you. It, it's just a, an amazing thing. I love to watch that early in the morning uh, here in Los Angeles. Uh, it's just, it's something that gives me a lot of, uh, energy and want, I really want to go out there and start cooking some new meals. You know, every time I, uh, hear, um, you know, she has a, a celebrity guest who's cooking something special. I, I get so excited and I try and get the ingredients the next day and I cook it myself. And it's, <laughs> that's what excites me. And that's what keeps me alive is, is little things like that. And a garden, I love gardening, you know, just that that's what keeps me alive. Watching some tiny little seed or a teeny little, you know, a, a sprout that came up and then you continue to water and give it sun. It is amazing how it just becomes something big and beautiful because you took care of it and you watered it and you paid attention to it. And that's exactly how I feel um, uh, life should be is you water it, you pay attention to it, and you give it sunlight. You're, you're the sunlight. You are the sun. You give it the water by nourishing it. And that's how I parented, that's how I, you know, parented my children is I nourished them with, you know, good words and, and you can and you can do and you are the best and, and you're on this earth because you're here for great things in this life to give back. That's how I raised my children. I raised them to, to, you know, appreciate the good things in life and also appreciate the, the suffering and, and appreciate the people who are on the streets. Appreciate it as in you've got so you can give and you can give back and never be afraid of another person, how they look or who they are because we're all human beings, right? So... That's what keeps me feeling alive. I mean, alive. I, I really feel like I'm um, uh, being a, uh, 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 just a scout, a scout in life. And I think we should all be kind of boy scouts, girl scouts, human scouts of life. And to me, it's a, um, way of living and I've always taught my kids and and my friends and everybody who's around me that we should all be scouts of life and be prepared for anything especially in these days and and this whole pandemic and staying at home and and you know they're even suggesting that if you don't have a complete serious illness uh, don't call the ambulance and don't call, 
you know, that don't go to the emergency because they are completely full with, you know, COVID-19 patients. And, uh, you know, it now is a time to self-heal. And now is the time to be aware of who you are and how you can heal yourself and how you can heal yourself on the outside, you know, when you get cut or when you get, uh, you know, some sort of a, a, a sprained ankle or if you get a broken toe, how can you fix yourself? There's so many different ways, you know, if you get cut um, and you have a broken bone, obviously you're going to go over to the, you know, hospital and to the emergency room, but before then, don't just rush out. Know how to self-heal. That's what will keep you alive. That's what this show is all about, is keeping you alive. What makes you feel alive? Staying alive with Mimi. That's what this show is all about. I'm Mimi Lesios, and it's been such a pleasure to have you listen to my show and please stay tuned for episode two. I'm super excited about this podcast and my vlog. Continue watching me because love you always. Give me some kisses, virtual, virtual kisses. That's what we're all about. Give me some hugs. Oh, I can feel them. Thank you so much. I really, really am blessed to have you guys watch and I'm blessed to be giving you this message.